I like talking. Sometimes. Sometimes I don't because I take a long time to say anything that's relevant. So, changing identities and how that affects people around you. My, my life growing up before transitioning was introverted, but I didn't really think about myself. I kind of thought about the world from my perspective. And then when I started transitioning, it became all about me. All about me. And it was nice. It was nice to just think about myself. And now that I'm kind of settled into my physical body, I'm pretty comfortable. It's nice. Content. I'm still like down there. I'm waiting. We'll see what happens, because if it's not awesome, then I don't want it. Um, but now that I've kind of gone through all the hard stages of transitioning, I have time to think about other people now, again. It's all full circle, and sometimes I feel guilty for forcing people to either adapt to my new identity and my new pronouns and name and sort of a, almost re, well kind of reinventing how they see me um, like demanding that because if they don't do it I don't think I could keep them in my life so it depends on how much they want to be in my life that they have to change how they see me and how they interact with me and I feel guilty about it to a point but I'm not going to make exceptions for relationships, I haven't done that in a long time. <laughs> Building up a rapport with someone and not having that, I'm trying to think of a good word to describe, not having that fact of you being trans influence how they interact with you from the start. So what am I talking about now? Community. I'll go on a community because relationships... I'm waiting. I'm lonely. <laughs> but I'm okay. I don't need anyone right now and my friends once again are awesome so I'm just hanging with my friends I haven't really gotten involved with the community because I'm also very busy with life I'm very busy with work which is hell and I'm not happy with work but that's life oh. <laughs> And I, I wanted to draw a link to humanity as a general and how once we kind of got past the point of holding onto our loincloths as we dashed across a open plain trying to evade Mr. Sabretooth Tiger or whatever sort of historical predator you want to. Uh, I actually like the idea of people and dinosaurs living together even though it's not plausible at all, but sweet fucking Outriding a Velociraptor, which is impossible, you'd be dead, but how exciting would that be as it was happening? Adrenaline through the roof. Uh, but yeah, we evolved past that. We got to a point where we were at the top of the food chain. We didn't have to worry about anything. Unless you just go marching in your underwear or blowing cloth into the woods without any sort of weapon and you just cake yourself in like steak juice, then you know, you're kind of back to square one, but I don't think a lot of people do that. And the ones that do, they're just asking for it. But that whole idea of us being on the top of the food chain turned us into these philosophers. Because we're not worried about escaping or hiding from predators. We're just squishing them or shooting them or bow and arrowing them and all that great stuff. Uh, so now we get to sit around in our little huts. And while well, we've already hunted, this guy, we've got our food, 
we've got some fire, we've got some stuff covering our junk. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Oh, wait, and that's how they think it happened. And then you start building civilizations and you start making rules and then you end up here. And everyone's uncomfortable, but no one talks about it. Oh, we're all each other's predators now. So I'll call that the end. Adieu. Until next time. So now I'm terrified. I'm reading all this stuff on the internet and they're like, Man, once you hit your 30s, it's pretty much impossible to find someone decent in life. And, but you have all these people saying it. So there obviously have to be single decent people if they're all complaining about not being able to find other decent people.